We know her as Crooked Hillary, but to Nikki Haley, she's her role model, the reason she ran for office. I often say that the reason I got into politics was because of Hillary Clinton. You write about her being a big inspiration for you in terms of a leader. She is actually the reason that I made the jump. That's an ad from the newly formed super PAC Fight Right, which is taking aim at former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley on behalf of another Republican presidential candidate, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Now, Fight Right was formed only in the last week amid the, shall we say, declining confidence in the work of another pro-DeSantis super PAC, Never Back Down, whose attacks against Governor Haley have largely backfired. Never Back Down spent a staggering $100 million in the past nine months alone in support of the DeSantis candidacy, which is really something when you consider polling that shows the Florida governor ranked fifth in New Hampshire. NBC News got an inside look at the hand-wringing and finger-pointing inside DeSantis land. I'm a bit agitated these guys have spent all this money for no return, one DeSantis contributor said. You don't just keep throwing money at Radio Shack. Joining me now is Mark Leibovich, staff writer for The Atlantic. Mark, you called the DeSantis problems before anybody else was aware of them. But I wonder what you make of this, this uh, shall we say, the circular firing squad that seems to have developed among his big dollar donors. I mean, do you think the never back down PAC's problem is that its ads are bad or that people genuinely are choosing Nikki Haley over Ron DeSantis? I mean, I would say generally that the never back down fiasco that seems to be happening in real time is at least a distraction from the, you know, the somewhat fiasco campaign of Ron DeSantis himself over the last eight to 10 months. So, I mean, this is kind of one crisis on top of another crisis. Um, look, I mean, the irony here, first of all, is never back down. I mean, it looks like eventually this super PAC might have to back down and they're being replaced. Um, but look, I mean, this is a campaign that has been basically a disaster for the last year. And I think Nikki Haley has been a beneficiary of that. But I also think Nikki Haley has been a beneficiary of running what has probably been the best race in, in the Republican field. I mean, the problem that each of them have, unfortunately, is each other, because the math problem is that they both ultimately have to beat Donald Trump. And while they're fighting each other, I mean, Donald Trump's going to love, you know, seeing the two of them, you know, go after each other like this. And he's obviously the winner here.